So in this video I wanted to give a bit more um, in-depth into the technologies uh, that's behind the Amulet Voice Connect. Uh, previously you saw in another video where I actually selected um, artists and tracks by name and number and albums and control the uh, transport such as play and stop and next track and the rating of, of, of uh, tracks and so forth. Now what we have here is in the bottom left hand corner is a, uh, a graphic that depicts the connect that's attached to this system. Down here, you, I'm not sure if you can see it, is, is a very little, uh, very small little indicator that points to where the connect thinks the sound source is coming from. It's able to do that because it's an array microphone, it's got, it's got four microphones built in and with some signal processing it's able to determine the location of the sound source. This indication here also tracks around at an angle and that indicates where the beam forming is concentrated. Using the same technology as, as to determine the sound source, the, um, the signal processing is able to focus the listening beam so it concentrates in a particular direction, concentrates the listening in a particular direction. So I have it set for auto mode at the moment and what will happen is when the received sound source tracks across the room you should see that when the system has a high enough confidence in, in where the uh, sound source uh, is it will switch the uh, beam to follow it. So let me show you that. So I'm over to uh, one side and you'll see that the, the beam forming um, followed the sound source which is, which is over to the extreme right and I'm going to pass in front of the connect and as I, I keep talking as I do so and you see I'm in the middle of the uh, of where the connect is looking at the moment so you'll see that it is actually um, pointing in the middle and if I continue over to the left hand side you should see the indicator go to the left and the beam going to the left also uh, yeah okay so that's to do with the, uh, the beam forming and the directionality now this indication here, this red band, that's to show that the system is not currently listening. We have a mode where you can have continuous listen, but when you do that you find you get the odd misrecognition. And it's also great, not great to have a, a particular keyword that you have to say before you say a, any particular command, such as, you know, computer, do this. Uh, that, gets very, that gets very tiring very quick. So what we've done is we are using um, a posture or a signal um, to tell the system to start listening. So what will happen is this band here will turn green when you're able to actually give it a command. Um, so let me show you a couple of the postures. Uh, if I make an X with my arms, you'll see that um, the system switches on and off. It can recognize that I have my arms folded like that. And another posture is when I just raise my arm to say something. What time is it? The time is 13 minutes to 3 in the afternoon. Okay, so you can see this. Um, it recognizes a couple of postures and when you, when you raise your arm basically you can talk to the system otherwise it's not listening in that particular mode and um, what we've done is we've, we've gone away from using the skeletal recognizer to recognize those postures a key piece of, of what we're doing here is, is, to, is to not use the skeletal recognizer you'll see a whole lot of uh, demo apps and things um, useful things on the, on the uh, the internet where people have developed stuff using the skeletal recognizer. Skeletal recognizer is great if you're standing in front of a system. Um, in this application it's just not good to have to stand in front of the thing and wave your arms around. You really want to be able to sit down on a chair, you know, loll back on a couch or you know put your feet up. And the skeletal recognizer does not work well when you do that in that kind of mode. 
Um, it really needs you to be standing in front of it waving your arms around. So we've gone away from using the skeletal recognizer. What we're doing is this little window here is showing the depth feed from the, the depth camera and that's me there and uh, what we're doing is we're feeding that into a computer vision library OpenCV and we're using algorithms within there uh, called um, HAR Cascades and they with that technology we're able to um, we're able to detect those particular postures while a person is sitting down or laying down and uh, that's as I say that's pretty key to the whole experience that it can do that reliably those higher cascades um, you'll find a bit more detail about uh, what was involved on the website www.amuletdevices.com and uh, but basically what happens is you need to make several thousand images of the thing you're trying to detect. You need then to tell the computer where the thing is within those images and then you need several thousand negative images of that do not contain the thing you're trying to detect and then the system will, will, um, will crunch it and it can take from a day to up to anything up to a week for it to crunch it and the output from that is a thing called a classifier and that classifier then can be used within this piece of software to detect those particular postures. So that's basically uh, what we're doing here. Um, as I say, this thing is available for free. This application is available for free. You can download it from www.amuletdevices.com.